Hi everyone! So today I have brought a tutorial. This one is again in another inspired look by Sasha Gray and some people might know who she is. Some people don't want to admit they know who she is but uh, yes she is an actress people. A mainstream actress. So if anybody's gonna flip their lid she has turned over a new leaf and I completely respect her. I love her. I love her. Per I love how she is. She's super smart and she's just um, very gorgeous. So this is a look that she had a long time ago back in 2011. I think she was at the In Touch uh, weekly red carpet event. So I saw the look and I really wanted to uh, do it. On top it has just a pretty neutral um, look on top with a pop of gold on the bottom and as well as for everything else just a nice mauvey cheek and just some nude uh, lips so the another nude okay I'm this this is something I'm gonna do I'm going to try not to say um and like uh, <laughs> I was actually watching my did I just do it I was actually watching my reviews the ones that I did recently and I was like oh my god I say um and like just too many times I was just like don't say it again don't say it again so I'm gonna really work on that so if you guys want to see how I did this look then just please keep on watching okay so I just primed my eyes with this L'Oreal decrease eyeshadow base now before I get started with the eyeshadows I must put on a black liner I'm going to put it right up onto my uh, upper tight line so that way it'll set so it won't mix with the other Eyeliner I'm gonna put on the bottom, so I'm just using my usual Maybelline um, Master Drama stuff. So the first eyeshadow I'm going to be using is from my Wet n Wild Vanity Palette, and I'm going to take this one right here, the shimmery white, and that's going to go straight onto the lid. So for the next eyeshadow, I'm going to take a medium brown and I'm just taking my Wet n Wild Sweet as Candy trio and just taking the brown that's right here in the middle and just using a fluffy brush like this. And this is going to go right onto the crease. So once that's blent out, I'm going to go back with my vanity palette and I'm going to mix these two colors, this shimmery bronze color and this matte plum brown. And this is mostly going to stay onto the outer corner. And just blending it out towards the middle and a little bit upwards. So I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and I'm going to buff out the outer portion of the shadow. And for the highlight, I'm going to be using this matte color right here. It's going to go right on top. And also kind of bringing down that brown a little bit because I want a little too high. So I'm going to take Maybelline's Eye Studio Gel Liner and an angled eyeliner brush and I'm going to line a pretty thick line on the top of my eyelash line. So I'm taking the Milani Liquify Eyeliner in the color gold and I'm going to line my lower waterline with it. So I'm going to take L'Oreal's Hip Metallic Duo and Ignited. I'm going to take this gold color right here and I'm just going to apply this right onto my lower lash line. Finally, I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply mascara and then I'll be right back to show you the rest of the face. So for the cheeks, I'm just going to take a mauve looking color. So I'm taking ELF's uh, Studio Blush in the color Mellow Mauve. I'm taking my Sonia Kashuk Blush Brush. 
I should I seriously should have tapped in this once because these are really pigmented I just you probably didn't see all that but I'm just going to apply this just right in the outer portion of my cheeks now finally for the lips I'm going to start by taking a very dark nude lip liner. This is L'Oreal's Infallible Lip Liner in the color Nude. Sorry, I always had things upside down. Can you read that upside down? I'm sorry. I'm gonna press my lips together just so I could blend it out a lot more. Now I'm taking a very nude matte lipstick. This is Revlon's uh, Super Lustrous Matte Lipstick in number one, Nude Attitude. Which this poor thing, it's, look at this. It, it, it's just really messed up. So I'm just going to slightly pat this all over my lips. Now finally, to add a little gloss, I'm going to take Rimmel Stay Glossy uh, Lip Gloss and, well, this is a clear one and it's called Seduce Me. Wow. So, I'm just going to apply that into the center part of the lip. And that's it. So that's the complete look. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you did. And until then, I will see you guys in the later videos. Bye!